The, the key finding is that emperor penguins nest on sea ice and they need that substrate to last beyond December in order to support their breeding season successfully. So if it breaks up earlier than early December, the chicks will actually fall into the sea and they will drown. If they manage to scramble out of the sea, their plumage will be wetted and they'll die of hypothermia. Alternatively, they may be able to stay on ice flows, but they drift away and then the parents can't find them and they all starve to death. So uh, the, the penguins are really dependent on sea ice remaining intact till December to January in order for them, their chicks to fledge successfully. And that resulted in four of the five emperor penguin colonies present in that region failing completely. So only one of them actually would have probably fledged any chicks. Uh, across the whole of Antarctica, there was 2.7 million kilometers square of sea ice lost compared to what we would have expected for the same time of year. So that's about the same as 10 times the area of the United Kingdom. So this is a massive negative sea ice anomaly that we haven't really seen on this scale before in, within, within the period that we've monitored over the past 45 years. Antarctic sea ice is influenced by a lot of different factors such as winds and salinity. Um, so it's quite difficult to disentangle this occurrence from um, you know, what, what is the effect of anthropogenic warming and what is the effect of normal climate variability. So in this case, there does seem to have been a series of La Nina events, which are a sort of climate phenomena that affects the Pacific Sea and has global repercussions and that has created low pressures in the Bellinghausen region, which means it's more windy and the sea ice gets shifted around a bit more. So we're not sure if this situation will reverse when the La Nina event 